What's up dudes and dudettes, my name's Seth and we are back again for some more Trove Trove And today Da 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 Today ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Mega Man, I am the Mega Man We're gonna be doing, which I need to go down here into this Sea of Regret Oh, it's not a Sea of Regret <laughs> Well, this is a secret island out in the middle of nowhere in Team Pixel 4, because today we are going to be doing the Team Pixel 4 World Tour. Hello everybody, oh my goodness, I wish I left the chat on just for this video so I could respawn, because otherwise I made a big mistake staying out here. Oh my goodness, did I ever, is this sea going to kill us? There we go. Yeah, let's dance at the bottom of the ocean. Do, 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 do. Anyways, welcome to Team Pixel 4, 4, 4, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful club with some amazing builds, if I do say so myself. So what I'm going to try and do, you can kind of see the, the map is a little bit uh, all over the place. So first of all, we will show you the hub, which is right here. This is kind of just a temporary hub until we end up getting a more fancy one set up. But otherwise, I set this one up because lots of the, like... Team Pixel 4 was one of the first clubs that had an abundance of officers, of people that showed initiative, showed that they stuck around with the game and stayed dedicated with their builds and stuff like that in all the other clubs, even after they got griefed and stuff like that. So we, we look out for dedicated players in order to actually get yourself to officer. Not This doesn't only mean just playing the game constantly. It means making an effort, you know, getting involved with the community and stuff like that. And showing that you can kind of accept the responsibility of officer because officer um, also uh, gives the opportunity for intense grieving. So anyways, with that, all the officers, at least at first, were kind of trying to decide, like, there was this one right here, which I think was, uh, Unfriendly Lion, yes, and Scrawly Gamer. They really wanted this to be the hub area, which, it's a cool building, and I love it, but it's not good for a hub. Because one of the key differences that I love about the Team Pixel hubs, this is just my personal preference that I want over any of the other clubs. Hello, Rage Kill, is that I love having everything conveniently placed. So everything that the player needs should be at the spawn of the club, and then anything else can go ahead and just be fun for builds. So this is Team Pixel 1 to 5. Here's all our U portals. Here's all our adventure portals, here's our sky portal, and here is the shadow tower portal right at the end. So, I don't really hang out in Team Pixel 4 as much as I used to, but it's still a very, very cool club, if I do say so myself. Now, there are some amazing builds up there, but we will we will go over into this direction first and kind of swoop our way around in a circle around the area. So, over here potentially might end up being the other hub area because it's all set up and ready for it we can get a nice convenient building going on in here we already do have a secondary portal area set up this is kind of like see this is it's cool but it's not convenient enough like this portal area would definitely have to have a tunnel that would connect right into the new hub area if we make that the new hub area but we'll get into all of that politics and stuff a little later or something because right now i just kind of want to wander around and check things out because there's actually quite a few builds i myself haven't seen what is this america freedom american america freedom i said <laughs> that's great i don't know who put that up there oh look it's the flag that you get from the die mount the die mount to whatever it's called i don't know what is this? If you are flying, land here. Ooh, it's a landing strip. That's cool. I like it. And then we got over here, Dark Monkey 98 made a fantastic, like, look at this. This is what I mean. This is what we look out for. Hello, secret little igloo. I gotta not get distracted as much. Oh my goodness, there's lots of craziness going on. We'll go down there in a minute. But he built this gigantic, fantastic rocket, which is absolutely beautiful. And you can actually take it all the way up. Woo! Yes! Oh, no! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Fly up the wing, course. Fly up the wing stuff, please! Up the wingy! Do it! Wee! 
Okay, so anyways, there we go. Let's get up here. So he ended up constructing this up in the sky too, which constructing things up in the sky is so tedious. So it's awesome that he made it. He also made it so you can actually enter it, which is very, very neato. Always very cool. Oh my goodness, that is invisible glass. So we actually can't get out that way. Can we get out this way? Good, good. So anyways, we gotta kinda continue onward a little bit. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna get stuck around all that. What is this? I kind of like it. It's like a funnel or a cake or something. I, I honestly don't know. Oh, it's a house with a funnel on top of it to siphon the air that we breathe. <laughs> we got someone who's really evil in the club. I don't know. Not really, though. What is this? It's a well of freedom. It's beautiful. We'll go on to this in a minute. That's Rage Kill's Halloween ride, which is actually very appropriate for this month because it's Halloween. So what is this path down here? This goes to some guy's house that's on the edge of the cliff. Very, very cool. And a staircase that goes, well, it just kind of ends right there. So, all right. <laughs> Never mind that. What is this? Oh, that's part of the Halloween ride. What, whose house is this? XX Bra XX. I like it. It's plain. It's simple. It gets the job done. Oh, look! Shifty eyes. See, you never know what this guy's thinking. He's kind of like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> and the smiley face guy. And, of course, let us take this pathway while everyone's trying to bomb us. Woo! Beautiful Halloween ride. Yeah! Ooh. Perfect landing. I don't even know. Don't touch anything. Don't touch that dial. Otherwise, uh, the ride kind of messes up a little bit. I know that there is some secret stuff under the ground, but uh, or like under the water here, but we're not going to really deal with any of that right now because whatever, who cares? Woo! Help me get to the top. I am surprised and happy that he knows, like Rage Kill knows how to make the boosters work properly for going uphill because lots of people, myself included, I barely ever touch the scales. What? Something about a haunted house area. Beware. I don't get it. Whoa, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Whee! I love that seriously it's like a proper roller coaster slows down right at the perfect spots too such an awesome ride man very very well done bravo Mr. Derage so it ends or normally it did end right there it looks like he's still constructing a bit more of it hopefully he has it done by Halloween that would be absolutely awesome so anyway oh my goodness it looks like it goes on and on and on so these houses too look very very cool from the outside so they look like a proper halloween house type of thing like that is just so cool man seriously it's like a pumpkin town anyways what is this right here build battle arena Ooh. oh i see yeah this is rage kill likes doing this where he has two people that are architect building in one section and the other and they kind of do a build face off and whoever can come up with the most unique build very cool idea ends up winning a prize also somebody's constructing a bridge right here please please use this road they talk like me I don't know. The road is still under construction. It's still a very cool one, though. And then we got a dragon course here by Leroy, which this one's really, really neato. We don't actually have our dragon right now, so that's okay. Anyway, you're supposed to go through here. You are supposed to be flying at this point. You go through all this. Yes, that is a game breaker cannon, but we'll take that in a minute. And you go through the beautiful monster's mouth. And then back all the way around through all of this stuff. And he ended up drawing a fan version of the beautiful Kigurumi. So, so awesome that that character is kind of turning into a thing. I think that is fantastic that it's been all over the place lately. So, we got another little weird house right here. A message to Scythe lies beyond this doorway. What could it be? Something about Leroy. Thanks for helping me get through the dark times in my life. Whoa! No problem, bro. That's, that's one of the reasons that I love doing all these videos. I love getting people all, you know, hyped up and stuff. Because, yeah, I'll read the rest of those off camera. Because it seems like it's a very personal message. I don't really want to read it on camera. Uh, so we got a cool glow-in-the-dark dragon right here. Or glow-in-the-day dragon as well. I very much like it. It's so cool, man. It's like a monster. Now, I don't know if this is part of the art or if this is, like, legit grieving. Because... You never really know. It's very tough to tell in this day and age with all of the evilness that goes on in some of these clubs, you know? So anyway, if we can avoid the lag, please, yes. I want to go over here and show you all this. Rage Kill actually made... Woo! With, with all these ramps. Okay, it's not really working. <laughs> okay, it's half working. 
But anyway, it's it's a elevator that doesn't require like jumping or anything like that. It's it's using boosters and just boosting you back and forth to get to the top. So anyway, that I think is it for this section over here. We will go back over to the other section, but let's take the Game Breaker Cannon. I am so surprised somebody actually constructed one right here. I hear people saying that they're constructing them all over the place, which is absolutely awesome. It goes to Leroy's Island. Let's go check this out. Woo! Oh no, the lag is real. The lag don't want to work. No, it does not, sir. Hey. Yeah! No! Work, you stupid glitchy game! It's because of lag that it doesn't work. That's why it's called the Game Breaker. <laughs> game Breaking Cannon. Fast traveling. Let's go up here. Because I actually really like, I guess you could hit that target potentially or something. I don't know. Welcome to Leroy's Island. Everything here was built by Leroy. Very, very cool. I love how he's doing like the buildings that I like very much. There is nothing suspicious here. Go away. They, there needs to be a class that can fit under a one brick hole. That would be very, very cool. Anyway, he's got a little house right here, which, hello, enjoy this building while it lasts. What? <laughs> I guess he's getting grieved. I don't know. But anyway, woo, let's get back up to the top. Is this another Game Breaker cannon? I don't think so. I don't know what that is. It's kind of cool. I don't know what it is. Anyway, we got an airplane up here. And just a moment ago, somebody actually threw a secret pinata party up here. So, ooh, a dam. That's cool. Anyway, let's take this golden pathway up to his secret house on the hill. Very, very cool. I love houses on the hills like that. Woo! Let's go back. Let's, oh, hey. What is, what is over here? Oh, this is right. That's right. This... I think this was Fatal Legacy, right? I, ho I hope I'm getting the shoutouts right. So, he constructed this beautiful castle, which reminds me of Disney. Like, seriously, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this, again, was going to be another potential hub area, but unfortunately, it's a bit too far away from everything. Maybe we'll still make this a hub, but the rooms definitely have to be constructed a little bit better. And unfortunately, somebody grieved it. Not on purpose, you understand. Deleted by the terror Valor War, yeah. So, uh, another terraformer got placed over here, and unfortunately, it took a chunk out of his castle. So, that's a bit disappointing. I wish the terraformers didn't do that. Uh, but then we got a secret little village over here. It's quaint, it's cool, and we got a hot air balloon, which is awesome. And it's like the meditation center. I don't know what these are. Maybe it's a couch or something? <laughs> what is this right here? Poo Poo Killer's home. Hello, Poo Poo Killer. He's got all his resources in there. That's a quite a trap. The most realistic grass ever. <laughs> nice. Uh, and this ended up getting grieved too. There was actually a cool spot right here. It was all very, very neato, but I guess this builder must have gone away or something like that or didn't really bother. Woo! Redoing everything. I don't know. Hello, everybody. Thanks for being patient and following me around because I know that these tour videos always take a while. That is a very fun made Kigurumi. I like it. He's so ugly and mean. That would be like a Kigurumi ally or something. I like it. I don't know what all of this stuff is. Is this an obstacle course? Is this for climbing? I don't think so because I don't think you can get up here. Oh, you can. Oh my goodness, this is a tough course. Okay, let's just pretend that we made that. And let's also, because that jump is impossible. So let's just do it as the gunslinger because honestly, I don't know where you're supposed to be going on all these spots. It, it's very neato though. I like it. Maybe you're supposed to be jumping all the way down. I don't know. What is this? Cannons for everyone. A fast way to travel. Made by Shanto and Doge. What cannon? What is there that's a cannon about this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's like in role play or somebody grief them, which would suck. I don't know. But anyway, we got another spot right over here. And a sign area, which is for what? I don't know. That's a lot of room for signs. Let's take a look at the first one. Winner of this is Awesome Sauce. Winner of... I don't know what these are. What is this? This must be... This must be Rage Kill stuff. Everybody's starting to leave. <laughs> that's okay. But that's kind of cool. I don't know what that is without a little bit more information. I see a sign over there, though, but that's okay. The Lunar Grapple thing... Oh, it's a grapple course. It's a grapple course. That's why. That's what's going on with it. Okay. So, anyway, before we get into the community houses over there, let's actually go over and check out Valor Warrior. Of course, you know it's Valor Warrior because it's a modern build. And that guy, man, 
he, he's busy with school and stuff like that right now but goodness gracious look at this guy he really knows how to build modern in these pixel games like seriously I am sure that his build talents like look at this modern resting area and stuff like so tight so good by the way Valor if you watch just put a secret behind the bookcases because that's just meant to be sorry rage I will join you in a moment buddy because I I gotta kind of keep I gotta keep moving otherwise I will just get too distracted very very cool though I like it I love the way that he's designing all this no rage no is this what is this oh it's like secret offices or something can we get out of here from the second floor don't look like it <laughs> oh there's a third floor I didn't even notice that okay this must be like the VIP area or something. Yeah, it is very, very slick. I like it. So anyway, woo, let's continue. There's a bunch of signs. I don't know what those all say. And there's another thing right there that I don't know what that says either. I <laughs> I don't have the time to read all these signs. Anyway, over here we got Stone Town or Iron Town built by the Unfriendly Lion. This is cool because some of these houses, like you see right here, Lido and what was it, Fierce Fire, ended up winning a couple of these houses through streaming, because when I do streams and stuff, I give away Balefire Wings as well as giving away a couple houses. So we gave away a couple of these and we will give away the rest eventually. But as for right now, I've been busy giving away houses in Team Pixel 1. Sorry, bro, I'm not gonna come there. Uh, we'll go over there in a minute because it's actually very, very cool. We've got a whole Draconis city set up. Like, seriously, it's nuts. Fatal Legacy has been going crazy with all that. I don't know what this is. It's modern art. Spawn gives you 9,000 magic power. <laughs> all right, cool. I like having magic power. Uh, some building in the middle of the mountain, which doesn't look like it goes anywhere deeper. Maybe it secretly does, but that's okay. Uh, this over here is kind of like the community area where lots of people were just kind of like, I guess just generally all the architects kind of hang out over here and started building like architect village or something so we got another another kigurumi and another kigurumi right beside each other both disgustingly awesome i i mean that like i really like how varied the kigurumi art is like seriously and then we got like a robo kigurumi i think that was over there scrawly ended up constructing nice little house here good use of all the dark grays and stuff like that rather than having all the color like everybody else's builds always do which i love the color that's that's what i'm all about but still very well done of course you can see some of these houses have been grieved and nobody's been around to fix them let us also go over into the top of the desert over here before we go back to the more impressive uh well not more impressive but you'll you'll see it's some of the biggest builds that we actually got so uh looks like we got a sign over here i'm gonna try and read and see who's doing this the unfriendly lion okay I'll be building here in following days. He's also been building a lot in Team Pixel 5. He's building a pirate area. But I love Unfriendly Lions builds too. Like you see right here, he kind of like, maybe it's because it kind of like, we both kind of think the same, I guess, in terms of how we build stuff. But I love like the variety and just the fact that we've been able to get like so many good builders in Team Pixel, you know, like seriously, these are absolutely awesome. I like this house over here too. What is this one? GG's bar. Who's GG and what is this bar? Is it a milk bar? I like it. George Washington's in there as well. I don't I don't know if he appreciates being in this video game. But either way, it's very very cool. Now this biome right over at the end here doesn't look like it has anything maybe it secretly does but that is okay we will actually head back because i don't want to go too far into it just because unfortunately we don't have the chat open so we cannot have the convenience of respawning so we will actually head back over into the other area plus i don't want to make this video too too long but these these tour videos are generally always a bit longer you know they always take at least like 20 to 30 minutes so uh, i'm hoping that we can come under 40 minutes and then i'll be happy because as according to my timer we're already on 40 or 20 i mean so anyway what is this this is kind of cool i like it this reminds me of gothic yeah very neato and i love these floating islands that have been themed around here Ooh, what's this secret house what unicorn Unicornness. What? What is this? I like it. That's actually a very neato house. It, it certainly is. Uh, let's go over to here because I think this is the official way. Yeah, it looks like this might be the official way up into this area. So you climb up this tree. This is Exiled Ace who came out of nowhere. He was an architect. 
Like seriously, I I didn't even know about him. He he just he was just an architect in Team Pixel 4 and he started building and he's like, "Hey, come check this build out that I made. I hope you like it." And then I finally came all the way up here and I'll show you I'll show you all in a minute cuz he's constructed a whole mountain area. He's even bothered to go out of his way to plant all the grass all over the area. Uh, it's a little bit uh, claustrophobic up here just for someone like me who hasn't like spent that much time up here. So I'm not exactly sure where everything is. But I just wanted to show you like how neat this is. Like it's such a it's such a neat building and area and stuff like that. Seriously, this guy's got some imagination, especially for this game. And he's got airships everywhere, which I love airships. You know I love airships, man. Seriously. That is I have a soft spot for it. Maybe because I never build them myself. I don't know, but I very much like it. It seems like he tried to keep it, as you can see, very in theme with my whole Japanese architecture thing. But anyway. He also has this, which he totally took from Team Pixel 1, the cloud hop, all the way to the tippy top, which is absolutely amazing. And anyway, I saw this, and I promoted him to officer immediately, because as soon as I saw this, I knew this guy, like, there is no worry at all about giving this guy officer, and I want him to build more. So, anyway, this is like a hub away from the hub, which, very, very cool build absolutely awesome like seriously this is this is one of the more complicated builds that we've had in well in team pixel 4 anyway i'll say that much but i very much would love to make it a hub but again as you can see it's a little bit too confusing for because you gotta consider that there's a lot of new people coming into this game and stuff like that so uh, that's another big reason why i like having everything very convenient for everybody you know it, it's kind of like it's kind of like you can check it out if you want. So anyway, big shout out to Exile Days. Let's actually head down here because I want to show you all this secret. Seek it's not going to be a secret anymore. The secret. Whose house is this, by the way, before we continue to the secret Draconis city? What is this? Fainone. Welcome to the glitch house. Ooh. Wait, who ended? Is it Fatal Legacy? I think it's Fatal. Oh wait, or is it a Glealy? Another, another big build is coming. Building in this two dragon fire biome can <laughs> No, it isn't. What is this? Is this what he's building? Maybe it is the gigantic dragon, which is absolutely awesome. And anyway, where this dragon pukes out, woo! Is a secret, everybody. It is the secret area. Oh my goodness, there we actually made it too. So this is the Draconis City. It actually exists in this game, so we have to. We have to be the Draconis for this, seriously. The Draconis will hear the call of the destiny and will be able to trout the lava walls and lava will show him the way to go. So anyways, this place is like a maze. It is so complex and so awesome, seriously, because it adds to the Draconis lore. What is all this? Danger jail area, deadly prisoners. Let's try and get through here before we end up taking too much damage. Very, very cool build because what the? Did somebody just teleport through those bars? Oh, never mind. Very, very cool build area because, uh, like, the the caving areas are always, like, so complicated to build stuff like this. A bit too dark, unfortunately, just with the types of blocks. It's very difficult to see. We can, of course, probably go into retro mode, which would alleviate most of this. But anyway, you travel through the lava waterfalls, and there's all sorts of secrets all around. So we're going to check out this one right here is one of the only ones that I actually know about, which is kind of like a throne egg room, I guess. <laughs> the incubator. This is where we keep all of the Draconis kids, the Draco babies. Oh goodness, get out of the lava before you die. We're actually not taking as much damage as I thought we were. <laughs> Probably because we're on Draconis. But either way, very, very cool area. Draconis something or rather, I didn't even see that. What is all this? Oh, it's like the hangout room where you go in and, you know, whisper to people or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like the kissing booth. <laughs> Which is kind of weird to say for Draconis, especially because they are heartless. They have no heart. Oh my goodness, what's down here? Can you actually go all the way through here? This is very neat. I love this, man. Oh my goodness, it's getting so confusing. But anyway, you can explore the rest of this cave for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely cool. It's got secret portal rooms. It's got all sorts of craziness. So anyway, was it this pool? I think it was this one. Let's see if we can take our boat out of here. Yes, we can. Bowser. Boing. <laughs> oh, there's a sign. Perfect. Dracronus Temple by Fainone. It wasn't Fatal Legacy. It was... Oh, it was Fainone. Sorry about that. Wrong shout out. 
<laughs> I had a feeling it was Fano and I just didn't say anything. So anyway, oh, that looks like that's just generated underneath the biome. This is very neato. This must be a Gleely's uh, dragon thing that he's building, which it looks like he builds in cube sections. So that's very, very cool. Which look at that airship area, man. That looks so slick. Imagine that like across a whole portal world or something like that. Or if um, you could run into that, like just adventuring and stuff, that would be absolutely awesome. So over here, wow, they are actually building it. Please tell me this is going to be a hyperbolic time chamber. Please tell me this is going to be a hyperbolic time chamber. I really hope it is. Obama will be pleased. I don't forget the secret island. Yeah, I didn't forget. We already showed it off. <laughs> is that Obama's area? What is this? Please do not build in these five grass biomes something, griefing, something, something. Who's building this? Before one takes the land and there will be a big fight. I hope all of you understand. All right. Well, either way, very, very cool. I like this. I really hope that this is like, a yeah, be a hyperbolic time chamber because that would be sick. Like, look at this. You could totally see it as the hyperbolic time chamber, man. That would be sweet. Uh, I'm sure whatever they're building, though, is probably going to be just as impressive either way. The hyperbolic time chamber also is a very plain area, but it would still be very, very cool because I'm actually working behind the scenes on a Dragon Ball mod to kind of go with the Nimbus. I'm probably just going to make a, like a Goku Vegeta, maybe a Frieza costume. I don't, I don't really know how much I'm going to get into it, but... As of right now, I'm actually working on a Halloween pack, so I want to try and get that one out before Halloween. And the Dragon Ball one is just kind of behind the scenes. So I think that that might actually end up being it, besides as you can see in the- oh, never mind. Oh, there, straight down at the south. That is that secret island which is being constructed out there. Doesn't look like there's that much else to this club. I'm sure there are a bunch of other secret builds and stuff like that. But I'm surprised that our time didn't take nearly as much as I thought it would. So anyway, absolutely awesome build. Seriously, uh, you know, it's going to be a while before we end up... Ooh, another floating island. It's going to be a long time before we end up doing a world tour for Team Pixel 5, that is for sure, because not that many people can actually build in Team Pixel 5 because I want it to be more exclusive to officers and stuff like that. Although we do have some very impressive builds in the works. Yes, I said in the wakes. That's how I let my Bronx and E's slip through. But either way, man, such cool builds. Loving the community. Seriously, I just gotta take this moment to just say, because I don't get to say it enough in the videos. Seriously, you all are what makes the series awesome. Because, I, like, this game... Honestly, I think if 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 I wasn't making videos and if we didn't have the insane community that we actually have in Team Pixel and stuff like that, I probably would have quit this game a long time ago because the, you know, the content is very, very cool. But you got to understand, I've been playing this game since closed beta and honestly, it hasn't really added that much variety for the gameplay. But I don't want to get into that. I am just trying to make the point that I probably would have either stopped playing this game a long time ago or taken a very long break, but lots of people always ask me, are you ever gonna quit this game? No, I am not, no sir, no ma'am, because being a content creator means that I have a responsibility to you, the viewer, and I'm going to keep living up to that as best as I can while trying to make all these videos and just have a good time with everybody. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you watched all the way through, I would very much appreciate it. if you would hit Duke in the like button. It very much helps me out. It means that you guys like these tour videos and I can always do more too. Like that's the thing. I figure that after we get done with Team Pixel 5, we'll probably start redoing t world tours on some of the other Team Pixels that have actually been improved upon quite a bit. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. Sign on. Stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.